Kia ora, and welcome to the Beer Jerk Beer of the Week drink along. Uh, today we're drinking Baywatch by Rhyme and Reason. I'm Joe. I'm Luke. And yeah, Rhyme and Reason, eh? Down in Queenstown. Yeah, doing some good stuff. Lots of fun beers down there. And um, it's a new year, Joe. How are you feeling? It is. I'm feeling very jolly, I would <laughs> say. Feeling excited about yet another year of uh, curating, selecting, drinking. Lots of wonderful beers of the week. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Um, this is a blonde ale, uh, and it's packed with our beautiful New Zealand hops, which we're so lucky to have here in New Zealand. Mmm. Super drinkable, super sort of light bodied. And uh, those hops really come through nicely, don't they? You get that sort of lemon lime character. Yeah, really nicely put together beer. Um, and yeah, it is, it says in here, it's uh, Motueka, Rakao, Nelson Sovin. So some mm. of my very favorite hops, Nelson and Motueka are absolutely some of my favorite hops in the world. And obviously Rakao is gorgeous as well. Um, so yeah, it's, I know I say this every time, but these hops are kind of common for a place to us because we live in this wonderful place uh, where all these gorgeous hops grow. But brewers all over the world are desperately clamoring to get their hands on these hops with their totally unique flavor profile and character. The Nelson Sovereign is getting, um, that's where you get your sort of uh, a real unique character. That's why it's such a superstar worldwide. It's like gooseberry. Mm. Gooseberry, that kind of white wine, like slight tropical, but ever so slightly sharp tropical notes. Yeah. Sort of erring on the passion fruit side rather than the sweet jammy sort of mango. Uh, pineapple notes. It's such an unusual and unique hop mm. that it's, well, I've been drinking a few beers recently that are from uh, these wonderful Brax projects and these experimental hops. And it's really cool to taste and try these hops, but none are as good as Nelson Salvin <laughs> or Motueka, uh, with good reason. Uh, you know, they've been honed and perfected over many years. They're absolutely, yeah, amazing. Uh, just Motueka, just having the sort of, yeah, like you said, apricot you're getting in there. Mm. And, um, but yeah, it's, it's not a super hoppy beer. It is a blonde ale, it's not an IPA. So these are just part of the, the melody of flames going into this. It's a light Pilsner malt base and beer you can just keep smashing. Yeah, very smashable. And it's 4.2%, so yeah, perfect for beautiful weather like today. It's 26 degrees out there. So I don't think your can of uh, Baywatch will last you long. You may have <laughs> smashed it by the time you finish watching this five minute video. Um, and Rama Reason are really cool people. Uh, their brewery almost kicked off in Australia uh, until they made a trip to Wanaka and realized that it's a pretty beautiful place and a wonderful place to open up a brewery. And uh, they've got a really kick-ass tap room down there. They're really involved in the community, loads of cool different projects. Um, the team are into adventure sports and activities. You see a lot of that in their cool artwork that often has um, all sorts of stuff going on. You've got a uh, mountain biker flipping upside down on this one. <laughs> and um, so it's Simon and Jess who are the, uh, the founders uh, and also partners in life as well as business. And uh, Jess is a fantastic brewer, has a really great way with flavors, putting recipes together. And Simon is, uh, has a background in engineering. So he, he pieced the whole place together. But also he has another business where building canning lines. So a lot of breweries across Australia and New Zealand have breweries that are built by um, built by his engineering company. Sorry, uh, canning lines that are built by his engineering company, which is super cool because yeah. good packaging is a major part of beer. Super important. It's, it is a thing that we come across sporadically, less so these days, luckily. Um, but uh, packaging is a it's not very sexy and it's a bit boring. But when you have a beer that's been badly packaged and it's oxidised, just a, a brown hazy. Just all the hard work yeah. from everyone. And the whole journey that's gone into it. You the know, growers. The people, yeah, the people that have grown the malt and the hops. Yeah. The hardworking people in the brewery, the people that have designed the artwork, and it's all screwed just because there's been a bit of a seeming issue yeah. in the canning line. But you never have that with rum and reason beers. Um, and yeah, easy going, smashable. Yeah, delicious super beer. smashable. Have you seen the Baywatch movie? I haven't. I, I know of Baywatch. Have you ever watched Baywatch Hasselhoff. on TV? Um, maybe like when I was eight and sick from school and it was on daytime yeah. sort of TV maybe, but I don't remember it. It's pretty Slow good. Slow motion beat run. Yeah. It's about all I know. Massive in Germany. 
Really? Was at a, with David Hasselhoff, who was like the boss of the lifeguards in the show, mm. he knocked down the Berlin Wall by himself. Oh, wow. So that's what, yeah, reunified unified, um, Germany. Sweet, deal with. what a guy. I know. On that, uh, <laughs> on that uh, interesting little fact information that's definitely true, we'll wrap it up for another week. Great work, Robin Reason. Cheers, Joe. Cheers. Cheers for joining us. See you next week.